Good morning Gabriella. Today is June 6, 2040. It is windy and 4 degrees colder than yesterday. Welcome to the future. Gabriella recently turned 18. She was born in 2022 during the 5G rollout. In the meantime, 6G dominates everyday life. Among other things, her closet. Gabriella's jacket not only looks great, more importantly, it's intelligent. Thanks to 6G, the jacket knows the current weather data. And with the help of sensors, it knows when Gabriella is too cold or too warm. It adjusts automatically, so she's always comfortable like now, on her way to school. And of course, the electronics are fully recycled, as has been required by law for several years. Her first class this morning is French. Gabriella's favorite part is practicing conversation, like the one she has right now with Gassira from Equatorial Guinea, using holographic transmissions. Despite being on different continents, it feels like they're in the same room. Thanks to the integration of 6G in satellite networks, both schools have excellent internet connections. After school, Gabriella occasionally works for an organic grocery service. Here, cobots and drones do most of the work. Humans oversee operations and only rarely need to intervene. Despite all the hustle and bustle, she feels completely safe. The positions and movement of all the cobots and humans are tracked in real time by the 6G network. Even though she knows that collisions are impossible, Gabriella likes to test things out. On the way home, Gabriella visits her grandparents. They run a small farm, but it easily supplies 15 families with fruit, vegetables and grain all year round. Gabriella enjoys watching the farm robots. They remind her of overgrown insects. The robots monitor soil quality and plant growth and can optimize conditions for each plant individually. The swarm of robots is coordinated via 6G and has no problem handling the uh, irregularities that occur in nature or when Gabriella is bored. Thanks to farm robots, the harvest is more profitable than ever. In the afternoon, Gabriella spends time with Gina. Her best friend moved away recently, but they see each other virtually almost every day. On the virtual tennis court, they don't even notice they're in different cities. The 6G network is so fast, it detects and transmits even the most precise movements in real time. Gabriella's swing technique was solely responsible for her defeat today, not the 6G technology. In the evening, she catches up with her brother George. He's studying medical engineering and is working on digital twins of patients. Their bodies are scanned and the data transferred to a detailed digital model via 6G. Doctors and medical students from around the entire world share these models with each other to simulate and practice surgeries in advance. Gabriella is utterly fascinated by the possibilities offered by the latest technologies. She also wants to study soon, but she doesn't know exactly what yet. She's thinking about maybe going into communications. The next big step, 7G, is waiting in the wings. And she'd love to help shape the technology of the future. I will wake you up tomorrow morning. Good night, Gabriella.